Hello, hello, ha! It's Elizabeth, and today I'm going to be sharing with you what is in my backpack for junior year of high school. This year, my school is doing hybrid because of COVID-19, but I'm still going to be in school on Mondays and Wednesdays, so I have to obviously bring my backpack with me, and that's just how I store all of my supplies when I'm at home. So, let me grab my big, huge, ginormous backpack, and let's get started. Okay, so starting with the actual backpack itself, it's the Trans by Jansport teal backpack. I really like it. It's just big enough to fit all my stuff in. As you can see, it's packed quite full, quite heavy. I've used this one for a number of years now. I've got this little pocket on the side that's kind of like ripped off. But in here I just have my Carmex because this is something I normally reach for a lot, but only at lunchtime because they're wearing masks. And I really like that this backpack is colorful, but it's not too in your face. So I'm gonna set it on my bed and we're gonna start with the largest pocket right up top here. Okay, first off we have my brand new water bottle. The reason actually this video is a bit later than most people are starting school is first of all that I've actually only had one week of school so far and second of all that I ordered this water bottle and my planner off of Amazon and I was waiting for them to come so that I can include them in this video. But it's just a thermal flask, it's very similar to a hydro flask, but this one came with the straw lid and also a lid that has like a little tiny screw top on it and it was just $19.99 so much cheaper and I really like it. If you guys have any ideas of places I can get really cute stickers, especially small businesses because I love to support small businesses. Please comment them down below because I would love your sticker recommendations because I kind of want to make it a cute sticker water bottle. Next in here we got this big ol' laptop case. This is from my school. It's got one of their school Chromebooks and a charging cord in it and I bring this to and from school with me every day for classes that we're doing digital things on because on the other days I'm here on this computer all day at home. My binders are actually organized from first block to fourth block so this one I'm pulling out here first is my fourth block class which is Spanish. I really like having just plain white one inch binders, one for each class. This is how I stay organized and then at the beginning of every semester I just print off the name and this little Mandela and then I color it in with the color of highlighter that I use to correspond to every class. So my Spanish binder is pink. Oh there's my little name tent. My Spanish name is Elisa. I have these little pink dividers. I made them myself with some pink cardstock and white cardstock and that's just how I like to have my binders all organized and just simplistically personalized. Next I've got my third block class which is choir so I've got my music folder that they provided me with all my music for that and my extracurricular women's ensemble that I'm in. If you watched the Who Knows Me Better challenge with my sisters, you would know that choir is my favorite class and it's been super great to have that being in person for part of the time and just be singing with my choir again. Now we've got this big old textbook that makes my backpack so nice and heavy, but this is for my AP Calc class, so this is an absolute must bring to and from school every day so that I can work on all my math. And then we got second block AP Calculus binder, same deal, Mandela, this one's blue, and on the inside I have this little three ring hole pouch, which I find is a great way to keep your calculator with whatever class you will need it for, which either math or science. And then I put the little Mandela on my notebook as well, which is just clipped in here. And I got blue dividers. Finally, for my binders, we have first block advanced biology. So this class, I colored it in green. It's kind of looks similar to the blue one. I just think these are cute. So there we go, got another binder. The stack on the floor is getting quite high. Now we have the planner that I got from Amazon. I really like it, it's very simplistic, but I actually really like this one and having it so big and the layout, just small lines. I use one for each class and that is how I stay organized. And it's just so cute and very minimal and my aesthetic. Next, we have the infamous DIY notebook, which is where I write down 
all of my YouTube video ideas, DIYs, I do some journaling in here. This is just like everything to me. My DIY notebooks are my most prized possession. Next, I keep whatever book I'm currently reading in my backpack. And this one I got from the library. I like just started it and it kind of has to go back soon. So I don't know if I'm actually going to finish this one. I just think that it's super great to be able to read books and have them at school if you have a free moment. And lastly, for our big pocket, we just have my little pencil pouch, which looks like a backpack kind of teal matches mine and in here I just have a pair of scissors some black pens of course we have some mechanical pencils and then I love having little notes to write things down on so I have some index cards and some pink post-it notes in here and then I have these mild liner highlighters if you have also seen these all over TikTok and YouTube you might be wondering, are they worth it? My answer is 100%. Like just for the colors alone, they are pastel. One side is a regular highlighter and the other side is a little small tip. Moving on to the next pocket. I just have a sweatshirt for when I get cold because you know, schools are often very weird with temperatures. Some classrooms you'll be really warm, some classrooms you'll be really cold. So I like to keep a sweatshirt in there to make sure I am never freezing at school. Now we are going to move on to the next pocket. This smaller pocket just has more of my little small essentials that I need for at school and some of these I'll transfer to my dance bag when I go there, especially my lanyard, which is the must have. I have a little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer on here because, you know, pandemic essentials. And I just have all my important stuff in here, like my license when I need to drive somewhere. I've also got this little cute sunglasses case, which has obviously my sunglasses in it, which my eyes are very light sensitive. So again, if I'm driving somewhere, I have to have these. And I just think this case is so cute. It's very me. Love that. Next, I have this little case in here that says, think happy thoughts. And in this, I keep earbuds if I ever need them. I have a pair with the regular earbud connector and then my pair with the lightning connector because if you ever need to connect it to a computer, you can't do that with AirPods. So we have these. And then we've got some more essentials. I just have this little black bag with some essentials. In this first pocket, you can see I have band-aids and little like first aid stuff. In the second pocket, I've just got some pills for if I have a headache or if I'm on my period and I have cramps. And then in this big pocket, we've got all the essentials. Let me tell you, we've got bobby pins and some little tiny hair ties. A couple bigger hair ties. These are just pink ones that I had laying around, so I threw these in there. I've got a small little scrunchie that I got in a pack for Christmas. And I have one of my bigger scrunchies that I made myself. Then we have just two extra masks. I have this little navy one that my school gave me and one of the little blue ones that almost everyone owns at this point. Then I also have a little mini lint roller, some q-tips, a little essential oils blend that helps with relieving stress and anxiety, a nail clipper, and a little nail file. And then last in that little compartment, I have this pink sparkly bag that I keep all my feminine hygiene essentials in. Then there's this little pocket attached inside of it, which I keep some gum in, some lip gloss, and some more hand sanitizer. This is one of the foaming Bath & Body Works ones. It's Vanilla Bean Noel. Smells really good, in my opinion at least. My sisters don't like it, I don't know why. On to the final little pocket here. I just have my AirPods and my phone, you know, the essentials. So that was everything in my backpack for junior year. If you like school videos, give this one some love by hitting the thumbs up button. Comment down below what your favorite back to school purchase was this year. Mine was my mild line highlighters, definitely. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to join the fun and click that notification bell so you don't miss when I post my next video. I'll see you then. Mahalo!